What I got today is the Humanitarian Daily Ration, menu number one. I actually ordered a crate with one through five. So we're gonna be eating those on the channel, but today we're just gonna be eating number one. Let's get into it, pop this boy open, see what we got. I know these are just vegan taste. That's what I was seeing in my comments, but I ordered it from Amazon. Okay, start off, we got some lentil stew. I'm saying that right. It feels pretty nice and tight in there. It's packed. It's got a good meal. I know these don't have a heater, so I went ahead and purchased a couple packs of these off of Amazon as well. Next up, we have the strawberry toaster pastry. So, Pop Tart. I mean, Pet Green Daily Rations all over them, boys. We got some strawberry jam looking pretty good. It's a little hard up there though. I don't know what that's about, but no, this is nice and mushy. Just gotta mix it up a little bit. Let's see what else we got. We have a fig bar. So it's a big old fig noon. Pretty massive. It's like four fig newtons or one. We got here we have beans with tomato sauce that should be good no macaroni oh, actually quite a lot. there we go humanitarian daily ration food gift from the people of the united states of america from the walnut company cincinnati ohio it gives you a little sheet, so give you an idea what to do with the food. I got crackers, eat the food, put your peanut butter on the crackers, put your salt in the food. I guess it's just basics in any language. It's edible. Um, peanut butter. Mm. I don't think I've ever seen that MRE peanut butter. I see a lot of jams. And these are the... This one just says beans with tomato sauce, but this one says beans with rice with tomato sauce. So that adds a little more to it. And this is lentil soup. This is just the nutritional facts about them. Um, what's in, what the ingredients are. You got your accessory packet. Napkin, spoon, salt, matches. I'll open that up in a second. We got shortbread cookie. Nice handful of cookie. Arnold, put the cookie down. And then you got your crackers, which feels feel exactly the same as the MRE crackers. Just different color packaging and different style packaging. Yeah. I just love the crackers in this. Here. I love those. And that is it. So let's go ahead and open this accessory packet. See what we got. Oh, it's kind of already torn into there. Nice. Different style MRE spoon. We got a whole box of matches. Whole box. You got your pepper, your salt, your sugar packets. And you got crushed red pepper. That's actually pretty cool. So you got some spices. And then you got a wet nap. Clean yourself up. Moist towelette, napkin of course. So we're gonna go ahead and heat up these stews real quick. Actually no, we'll go ahead and try the fig bar first. See how this tastes. I'm gonna try the fig bar and then uh, toaster strudel here. Yeah, that's a 
that I broke in half. This. Okay. So this is a big, big Newton bar. It's good. It's like a dollar store from Newton. I mean, it's just like a generic big Newton. Makes sense. Not bad. Okay, now that we got that fixed. Yeah, the figure bar is not bad. And I didn't notice that my camera is slowly just tilting off. But got it fixed now, hopefully. So let's get to the rest of it. So now that we tried the fig bar, which is good. Like I said, it tastes like a dollar store fig bar. So it's like, it's not, it doesn't taste like trash. Like I'd eat it, but it doesn't, just doesn't taste as sweet or as sugary as a normal fig bar. You got water on the standby, was dry, which you expect from how I eat. Oh, let's let the see out. I don't care. Okay. Yep. So it's literally a Pop Tart. An actual name brand Pop Tart. That's cool. That they just sealed up the Pop Tart. <laughs> Put you over there. Uh, let's see. Pop-Tart. I'm not going to take another bite of it because it's just Pop-Tart. It's dry as hell. Um, let's get to the cookie. So these are like civilian MREs pretty much. And humanitarian, so no meats. And this is the shortbread cookie. Got a pundit doughy smell. Very bland. It's like a cheap cupcake that you left out for two weeks. You got hard. But it's the only thing to eat. It's about that. Dried out Walmart brownie cupcake. Not the best cookie. Um, okay. And then got the crackers. That is a tough one right there. It's just like trying to get a grip on that. It's all slippery. Slippery, but. Grip resistant. Oh, goodness. As you can see, it just crumbled. So the stability. That's not the same cracker or the same recipe. It's in the MREs for sure. Because I've had recent MREs and their crackers did not taste like this. And I know these are fresh, so it's not due to the freshness. Tastes more like a saltine cracker. Tastes good though. It's not bad. Just tastes different. Let's try a little bit of this strawberry jam. Strawberry jam. I have to get it all mixed up. 
What is the difference between jam and jelly? Okay, let's try this stuff out. If I can tear it. That'll be nice. There we go. No pain, no gain. This game is strawberry. Mmm. Mmm. Nice little amount there. Let's use the butt of a spoon to kind of try to lather it down without breaking the cracker. Not really tasting strawberries, to be honest. Let's see. That's what it looks like. Hmm? It's not bad. I tell you, memories for some reason are really messy to eat. Very sweet, like very sweet, just almost entirely sugar. With a little bit of strawberry. Next, we're gonna try this peanut butter. Let's see if it's actually present today. The eat before opening, yeah. I already knew that. MREs are just. I mean, you're supposed to. Everything gets so dense in one area, and then, you know. Let's see. This one's freeze dried, I guess. Oh, you mix up and rehydrate it. Here we go. Got the peanut butter. Let's see what this looks like coming out. I have a little bit of an air pocket in there. I don't know if that's normal. Oh, traitors. Smosh it down there. It's a little bit much, but oh, that's a cracker. Let's see if it's breaking. There it is. Okay, we're not going to risk the cracker anymore. Creamy, that's good. Not bad. Which I wasn't expecting it to be bad. It's jam, it's peanut butter. It's a pop tart, it's a fig Newton. You can't really mess up on that. I mean, you can, but they did. What I'm worried about, or excited about, should I say, are the main courses, courses which are all bean based. Like I said, I have four more MREs or humanitarian daily rations to get to. So, bean-based meals or entrees. And so I'm just uh, excited about these. I was reading the Amazon reviews and they were saying some interesting things. But that's why I got it. Check it out, see how it goes. I'll come back and I'll have both of these heated up nice and good and be able to try both of them out. Okay, I went ahead and heated this one up. This one's heating up as we speak. So we go ahead and test this one out. This one is the lentil stew. Let's get it all mixed up so it uh, heats everywhere. All the spices and whatnot. And clear what you want to tear. mess up on the first pull. Let's see. There you go. It's always a little messy. It's okay. Okay. 
Okay, so this smells really beany. Smells like a side dish out of a normal MRE. <clears throat> Doesn't smell bad. It smells like pig bean. Here you go. That's what it looks like. Take a big bite. Not bad. So you got chickpeas, you got the beans, you got carrots. That's pretty much what I'm seeing here. I'm just a bowl of spices. Not bad. I wouldn't have an issue eating this. Plus, if I was hungry. But you could definitely spice this up, add some beef jerky to it. And definitely add some nutrition and boost your morale. You had to eat these. You had to eat these. Not bad. Not bad. But I'm gonna stop there because I don't feel like dealing with the uh, repercussions of all these beans. And I'll come back when this is heated up. We got our tomato, rice, and beans all cooked up. Ready to go. Those beads get everywhere from the heaters. Now we're going to mix it up. This one's feeling kind of thick. A little, little chunky boy. Let's see. I like to make sure everything's mixed up. And this one's nice and sealed, so it's kind of hard to get it. So grinding it down to nothing. Okay, clear the seal. Just try to break down all the mess. Again, beanie smell. Give it this nice little peaky weaky. Still solid as a brick. So it did have a good seal on it. Looks like all mashed up. That's what that looks like. Just a beanie smell, looks like the last dish. Hmm. It's bland. Beans. I guess I like the other dish. I mean, I eat it. So I was hungry. You know, it's better than trash. So the red pepper, crushed red pepper, that they include. Let's see how that. You know, let's just save me some spice or something. a little better. I'd rather have a mountain house. For being like having no meat and still containing protein, it's not terrible. It's a five out of ten. It's passable. It's survivable. You won't want to die after eating them, but morale won't be too high. Beanie, lots of beans. Not bad though. 
And that will do it for this episode of MRE Reviews. That's Humanitarian Daily Ration, number one. Thank you guys for watching.